just lifted the floorboard in front of where I want to put the new socket. Uh, use the multi-tool to cut the floorboard. Um, luckily, nothing happened, but a bit of a near miss. Good morning, YouTube. So this morning we are putting in a couple of additional sockets in a bedroom. Um, at the moment, lots of extension leads running off the socket that's there. The socket is also damaged slightly, so um, it won't screw down properly. So we are going to put in a couple of additional sockets. First off, under the desk here, you can see this arrangement. It's all a bit of a mess, um, but also this socket won't screw down properly so it moves around so that needs replacing the back box needs replacing anyway um, so maybe one here one the other side or just an additional one over here and then that's the cat additional one down here somewhere along the wall behind here so I'm gonna put you on the time lapse um, and same as last time, I will keep pointing out bits and bobs as I go along. We've now pulled the uh, desk back and everything else that was in the way, so we're going to pull the carpet back and have a look at what's underneath. We've lifted the floor and our cables run back underneath us. We want to put a new socket on the wall over here. So what we're going to do is split the ring here, join it in a maintenance free uh, Wago box under the floor, run it back to there, come back out, run it to here where we'll have a new socket on the wall, go into this socket which needs a new back box on it and then rejoin to here. multi-tool to cut the floorboard. Um, luckily, nothing happened, but a bit of a near miss. You can see here that where the floorboard has come up, and I'm very lucky, it's just skimmed the top of the pipe. I guess that's something learned with experience, but let me know in the comments below what you might have done to avoid that sort of thing happening. Thanks. measured out I know where my boxes are going um, however I've just noticed that I haven't got enough cable I thought I did but um, unfortunately I need to now nip out and get some more can for now. Um, the kids are still doing their internet virtual classes so I can't switch the power off but as soon as I can do that I will split the ring, uh, change the back box on the existing socket, put it all back together and test it. So to split the ring I will take this cable, pull it back through and pop it into these Wagos, which I will then put into a maintenance free box and secure it under the floor here. Obviously this was a bit messy, the wall's so crumbly dry and dead that loads of it fell out whilst I was chasing it out. So I am going to have to fill that. I expect the same will happen over here when I put the new back box on there as well, but let's see how we go. in, bonded, not tightened up fully yet, um, or tightened down fully yet, 
So obviously wait for the bonding to dry and then put a little skim on it tomorrow. We've got our maintenance free Wago box with the ring split. That then runs over to here. Again bonded, needs finishing around it. Right, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, sockets are all in, all tested, everything's good. Um, carpet's back down, uh, bonding around the sockets, um, so that just needs a finish, um, which we'll get on with, get on with at some other point. Um, but all done. So if you liked it, uh, thought it was useful, or got any comments, please leave those below. Hit like, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.